Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video to uh, follow up on some requests that I've had from a couple of people about how to make a bootable ISO or a bootable USB stick from an ISO using just a Chromebook and of course a USB stick. Um, it's actually really, really easy. Uh, it only takes a few minutes. Um, so really you're just going to need a, a couple of things. Uh, you're going to need uh, obviously a Chromebook and you're going to need at least an 8 gig USB stick doesn't matter if it's USB 2 or USB 3. Um, as long as you've got a Chromebook and a USB stick and of course an ISO to work with, you're good to go. So um, let's go ahead and switch camera angles. We'll run through this process. It really just does take about five, five or six minutes total and then you're good to go. So like I said, let's switch camera angles and jump right into it. Okay guys, uh, this is actually gonna be quick and easy. The first thing of course you gotta do is figure out uh, what most likely operating system it is you want to uh, have bootable here. So in this case, uh, because Ubuntu is popular and, and I've already downloaded it, uh, we're gonna use that as an example here. So you're just gonna go to, uh, you know, whatever website you need to or torrent site or whatever to get the ISO of your operating system. So again, in this case, we're going to use Ubuntu. Uh, in this case, I, I, would go ahead and, I would click download, but like I said earlier, I've already downloaded this. So that, that's already done and out of the way. Um, and of course that would show up over here in your downloads, but uh, I cleared it out. So what you can do in this case is come up here to the top right, uh, click uh, that, those, those three dots there and click open downloads folder. And here you're gonna have uh, your ISO. Now this is like the, the only weird thing that you may have to do. And what you have to do is actually uh, use two fingers, like do a two finger tap on your trackpad to get like a right click. Uh, and then go into, into here and click on rename. I guess you can also click control enter. Um, but this dot ISO needs to be changed to dot BIN. So we'll go ahead and click enter. And sometimes it throws an error, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but that needs to be a dot BIN. Um, so that's, that's the hard part. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do here is actually go over um, to, the Chrome, uh, to the Chrome web store. We're gonna do a search for the Chromebook recovery utility. Uh, if you've got this installed, great. Chances are you don't though. Uh, find this, it's gonna be offered by Google. Uh, over here, you should see a button that says install. If you see install, click that. If you see launch app, click that. You're gonna get this screen that pops up. I think we can actually just go ahead and minimize basically everything else here. Um, and then once you're here, uh, you'll go ahead and uh, click on this gear up at the uh, top. And over here, it's gonna say, you're gonna give you three options. We're gonna say use local image. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then it's gonna bring us here. Uh, this is our downloads folder. This is the default. Um, if you had left this as .iso, nothing would show up. You have to change the, the ISO to .bin. So we'll go ahead and double tap on that. Now it wants us to insert a USB or SD card. Um, I've got uh, an eight gig uh, PNY uh, USB stick here. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. Like so, we'll give that a second to recognize. Uh, we can go ahead and click on here, and right here it, it, it tells us that's our PNY. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on that, and then we'll click continue. Uh, now it's just uh, the, the confirmation screen here. We can go ahead and click on create now. And at this point, we just wait. Uh, it says it'll take about five minutes. Uh, from my experience, that seems to be right. Uh, we'll just go ahead and let this do its thing, and then we're done. So like I said, it really is just that easy. Uh, Chrome OS, Google, whatever, has made it very, very easy to have all of that stuff available and easy to use. So hopefully this helps those people who are looking for a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, if you've got any other questions or comments, definitely leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, if you look at the comment sections on my other videos, you'll notice that I do everything I can to try to respond to just about everyone. So uh, questions, comments, of course, leave all those down below. If you wanna help support the channel, I've got some, uh, some ways you can do that, whether it's through Patreon, PayPal, uh, a new service called Coffee. Um, any of those would be greatly appreciated if you wanted to contribute to the channel so that I can keep making videos like this and helping you guys in the comments. So, uh, like I said, short video today. Again, thanks for watching. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and use my normal wrap up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.